they made their way off the bus and into the arena earlier on. And the game arrival sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. We come to you tonight from the shores of Lake Erie as the streets of downtown Cleveland, Ohio are alive with activity. The NBA on 2K Sports. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. And tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Sexton. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing and let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin Love has dramatically improved his perimeter shooting over his career, but he said, I've tried not to fall in love with it too much. Where I'm going to make my money is also rebounding. That's a stat I always look at because it can help a team win even when the shot's not falling. Kevin? Great attitude. His work inside, a big part of the D.A., thanks. Out of pace with these two teams, Doris. You were the primary ball handler when you played. What was your style? Well, I think, you know, the style that players want to play in, Kevin, are the fast-paced, open-floor styles, which really allows you to showcase, number one, if you're a skilled basketball player. Number two, do you have great athleticism? Is speed your best attribute? To me, a free-flowing, fast-paced uh, sort of read and react system is the absolute ideal style. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Here we go. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then there's Bradley, and it's Jeffries in its center. And for the Cavaliers, Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with Andre Drummond, and it's Porter at the small forward. on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, first shot, first best. He's out of the blocks fast. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Andre Drummond picks one up. Lakers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And the first one at the line is good. Oh my gosh, I just got that. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Oh my gosh, I just got that. Now, Garland. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block force them to the line. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. James outside. No good on the triple. And Mr. Reliable, Kevin Love, is a nightly double-double in this league. That's right, Kevin, and it's because he reads the ball incredibly well. He knows where it's coming off the rim. And then on the offensive end, such a versatile scoring threat, right? He can get his points inside, he can go outside, you name it, Kevin Love's got it. The pass to Jeffers. Fires from deep. It's Drummond with the rebound. Cleveland has come out of the gates quickly. It's a five-point game. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And I love the way they just came right out at them in that game, determined to attack the rim. You know, typically when you go that hard to the rack, you can make a living at the charity stripe, and that's exactly what happened. Here's Jeffries. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And he drops in the way up off the glass. 
So why does LeBron James have the ball in his hands? Because look at that sixth sense. Wow, what a pass. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Garland, who's coming off a 13-point game against Oklahoma City. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Intersection. Off target from outside. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Oh, well, you love it, Kevin. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Now, here's Garland. Back to Drummond. He kicks it to Porter. Over Davis. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. Yeah, and taking on an interconference foe, certainly not a rival. They're the better team, and they showed it, winning both matchups last season. And the Cavaliers will go with a different. Dishes to Sexton. Passes to Mike. Here's the lob to the hoop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Garland and Sexton man the backboard. Andre Drummond is out there with Mike and it's Porter in at the three. That's the five for Cleveland right now. The Cavaliers trail by six. And here is Garland. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Shot from 12. Here's Truman, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Selected ninth overall in the 2012 draft. Drummond's carved out a nice NBA career for himself. Love's check in for Garland. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Jeffries is checked in. Anthony Davis comes in for Kyle Kuzma. LeBron, he's checked in for Green. And Bradley subbed in for T. That's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. <laughs> oh, as he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Pocket six. Love finds Porter. Nice again. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Andre Drummond. Outside breath. James outside. Inside leaner. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. Well, you look at the former All-Star Andre Drummond and the way he rebounds, Greg, he might be the best in the league in that department. Uh, I mean, few players in the history of the league can go off for 20-plus rebounds on any given night. Drummond's one of them. Uh, attacks the glass on the offensive end so well. His offensive rebounding, for me, sets him apart. The try by James. Count it. LeBron's got the lead up to seven now for Los Angeles. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Now, here's Sexton, guarded by Bradley. Here's Love from the arc. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Drummond's got five points now in the quarter. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. There's the triple. That shot off. And Cleveland will come the other way. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Los Angeles making a switch here. Craig's checked in.
four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Down low. And it's sent back by Drummond. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And in terms of team numbers, the free throw percentage is right at 74. A different look now for Cleveland. Nance comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Exum in for Moncrief. Exum kicks to Porter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Now let's take a moment to see the teams that lead the league in field goal percentage. In third, the Lakers. So patient on the offensive end. I mean, they're not going to force shots, and it's that selectiveness that's yielded such an impressive field goal percentage. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for James. He's perfect from the line this time. Los Angeles calls timeout. Let's see how the West is matching up. You take a look at Los Angeles. Holding on to second spot in the conference. A great season for them so far. You know, for Los Angeles, uh, they've come through for their fans this season. All the optimism surrounding them, all the high hopes, all proved to be legit. But how about the momentum they have built to get off to this fantastic start? All the positive vibes right now. With one on the clock. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into half. Thanks a lot. LeBron, what adjustment did they make to slow you guys down in the second quarter? Uh, I mean, it's a good team. It's a really good team. And they executed in the second quarter, made shots, and uh, got to a rhythm. So. We'll see who wins the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Of course, you can't help but notice the teams are shooting earlier in the shot clock. One theory being the faster you shoot, the more possessions you get. Well, and the numbers would, would speak to that. No, no doubt, Kevin. And the reality is, for, for announcers and for fans, that breakneck pace makes it more exciting for us. One NBA mm -hmm. coach told me this past year, that your field goal percentage in the first 10 seconds of the shot clock gives you your best opportunity to make it. And the longer that shot clock goes on, the more your field goal percentage dips. So hey, good for us, good for the fans, good for the teams. And that's because the defense has a chance to set them, correct? It's exactly right. Well, we've got a moment, let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then there's Avery Bradley. And it's Jeffries in at the five, down low. Love outside. Kicks it to Garland. Just five to shoot. For three, we won the rebound. The second chance effort, pass to Sexton. With one on the clock, rebound the Lakers. Jeffries got rebound number five here tonight. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. You know, possessions like that will help them feel good going into that final quarter. To the wing right side. Harland with it. Six points for him. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Sexton, guarded closely. They need this, almost, but it rolls out. This ugly start this the second half. They've missed their first four. They've got to get on track. Outside for Davis, pass to James. This one for three, kept alive, Davis. And easy two points on the layup. 
and now a nine-point Laker lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so, Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. They're scoreless since the first half. 11 feet away, here's Truman, and Truman throws it down. With a large frame and a willingness to get physical, Drummond's a relentless rebounder. Timeout called the Lakers. Moncrief, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And here we have a rundown of the players you don't want on you when you're putting up a shot. The leaders in blocks over the last month. Fifth, Andre Drummond. And guys, as the month has unfolded, his interior defense has gotten better and better. The pass to Morris. He kicks it to James. Here's Kuzma. And that one, good. Kuzma's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And position this basketball all the rage. And, and Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold. Is he a three? Is he a four? I don't know, but he gets buckets. Shoot from the right block. He can't get it to go. Good D by Drummond. LeBron against Moncrief. Passes it to Garland. Out to Moncrief. Love trying to break loose. Here's Truman. A rebound by the Lakers. There's 117 left to play in the third. They kick it out to Green. James wide open. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And the Lakers lead by nine. And very light-footed is Kuzma. Moves well for his side. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of build, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going... Well, Cleveland shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Hands out there with Zizic. Then it's Moncrief. Then there's Colin Sexton. And it's Exum in at the two-guard spot. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Cavaliers making a switch here. Porter's checked in, and the Lakers also making a change. Jeffries is checked in. Now, here's Sexton. Pass to Nance. Shot clock at six. From 13, no good. Shot missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Exum passes to Zizic. Back to Exum. And he banks in the layup. Exum's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Cavs. Los Angeles leading by seven. Kuzma outside. And Sexton over to help. Puts it up. Kuzma can't get it to go. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Offensive rebound. Nance, no good. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Pass to Caruso. With some art, and he lays it up and in. And the Lakers lead by nine. Oh, such a feel shot there. The motor. Nance outside. 
now. Here's Sexton. G right on him. And it's the target from 18 feet. Well, Colin Sexton working this shot into his basketball game. Such a critical aspect for him to have. Los Angeles calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communication. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Zizic. Love comes in for Nance. And it's Garland in for Dante Exum. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Avery Bradley comes in for Alex Caruso. Here's Sexton. Here's Love. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Bucket is good. 19 points in the game. You know, on defense, I think you need one of the big guys to help you out in that instance. The Cavaliers trail by nine. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. First quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Right wing. Here's Love. And the aggressive attitude of Davis on D makes him such a tough matchup. He's not going to give his man an inch of breathing room. That was the difference on that possession. All the officials are all over that. He drops the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. So it's such an honor to be on this with you. And, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst. Uh, breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life, personally, professionally. What would you tell young women who are graduating college looking to get ahead in their career in the future? Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, times are changing. Um, dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so thankful to the NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder. Thanks, Kevin. There's Garland. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Lakers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Five on the clock. There's Garland, and Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. On the wing, James, defended by Drummond. Davis kicks to Jeffries. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And the Lakers lead by 16. And once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Now Sexton. Now the pass to Love. Shoots over Brent. No good. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Arlen saying thanks for watching. See you next time.